Understanding the consumer is the duty of a GM. But what does that mean right now with this major shift in consumer technology? You know, if I'm a general manager today, you know, what would I do different? Because I, you know, I was general manager 30 years ago. And I have the fortune of going into a lot of different stores, so it's a little bit different for me. I'm learning a little bit more because of that. But if I was a general manager today, I'd either have to hire someone that could do the internet for me, or I'd have to learn it myself. Because it is something that is not going away. We're seeing the stores that are consistently successful in our company are the ones that do a good job on the internet. Mm -hmm. So I'd say the culture, the change between, say, 20, 30, 20 or 30 years ago and today is just the internet. You know, it's changed the way we do business. You know, 10, 15 years ago, people were going to go on the internet, they were going to buy their cars, they are going to be drop shipped to their house. That's not happening. But are people going on the internet, 95% of them, to get the information? Yeah, they are. And in most cases, they know more about the car than we do, and they certainly know the cost. You know, you can take a general manager that maybe is in, maybe a, more of a baby boomer, and you put him in, let's say, a Highline store in a area where there's not a lot of drive-by traffic. Mm -hmm. Well, that person really doesn't know how to run that store because the only way you're going to get dealers, I mean, get customers to that dealership is by the internet. Mm -hmm. So you have to have someone that's more, you know, grew up in that Gen Wire type of deal so we can get those customers to that dealership. And I think that's changing. I think the general managers um, that we hire today are going to be really good at the internet. They're going to understand it. They're going to be able to manage it. Mm -hmm and they're gonna know where those customers are coming from.